Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 16B in the Lewis series, where we're going to be continuing with entities, and this time we're going to be adding trails. So I'm going to define a variable here called trail. Now this is global. I do actually recommend if you are going to create a trail, make this local trail. I'm keeping it non-local here so we can access it in player def because uh, we're going to be creating the trail in player spawn and we're moving in player def. Uh, so normally you can do that, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it global even though it's better to do local. So anyway, we're going to set trail equal to util sprite trail. The first argument's the entity that you're setting the trail to. So I'm going to set to player, the player that just spawned, right? Next argument is going to be, uh, I believe it's the actual attachment ID to the models or the entity models. So we can actually attach the trail uh, depending on attachment ID. If you don't know the attachment ID, just put a zero here. The next is going to be a table, which is color right here. So we're going to say color and let's set it to a random color every time that we spawn. So we'll say 0 to 255 just like this and we'll do that two more times for the green and blue. Alright, next we want to set to see if it is additive or not. So this is a boolean value so uh, we'll just say additive is false. It's not going to really go over that. So now we have the starting width of the trail. We'll set to 100 units. The end width which is 0 units. Lifetime, so how long does the trail last before it goes from the start point to the end point? And we'll say about three seconds. Um, texture res, now this is a formula here, so that the texture uh, resolution is proper. So say one divided by, then you're going to have the start width plus the end width, which is 100 plus zero, which is just 100. And then you multiply all that by 0.5. And lastly, we need the actual trail material that is represented with a .vmt at the end. Very important you put that .vmt. So we are going to have that uh, trail be trails slash plasma .vmt, just like this. All right, so we have it created now. Let's set up the actual death when you die the trail will be removed and to do that you just simply type safe remove entity and we're going to remove trail and this is why oops, this is why I kept it global so you can actually access it in this function if I kept it local like this you wouldn't be able to see it in, in this function alright so let's go in game and see what happens alright so we are now in game and looks like I'm starting off with a pinkish purple trail, so masculine I know. Thank you math.rand for that. Alright, now let's kill ourselves and we'll see. Oh, looks like I leveled up. Yeah, go me. Alright, and the old trail has been removed and now we have a purple trail. So the safe entity remove, or safe remove entity works just fine. That's, that's removing the trail, remember, and this is adding the trail. So I do it one more time. Let's see if I can get a more masculine color here. And eh, that's good enough. Anyway, um, that's trails. Very simple topic. If you have any more questions on this, please feel free to leave a comment below. And until next video, I will see you next time.